All right. Hey, YouTube. All the uh, homestead and friends and family out there. What you see behind me is part of that honeydew list that I made for myself. So all of this stuff is going to get cleaned up eventually. Uh, I wouldn't say eventually. Very soon. Very soon. Sorry for shaky video. And uh, anyway, today is Saturday and I wanted to get started on my hydroponics shelf and get that system going and video it for you guys and show y'all how to do it. However, God kind of talked to me and said, Carmen, that can wait another day. You need to do something nice for your wife. And I thought to myself, and I asked God, well, what was, what is it that I could do for her that would make her happy? And then he said, don't you remember a year ago when she asked you to clean out that front flower bed? Yes, sir, I do. <laughs> so, guess what? That's what's getting done today. So we're going to walk up here and I'm going to show y'all show y'all what we got going on. That stuff that stuff can wait. This stuff this is what's going to make my wife happy. And in turn, it's going to make me happy. So these two flower beds right here they are overgrown and they need some help they need some help H-E-P help Sagos I hate Sagos two reasons they poke you and the seeds that come off of them are the skin is carcinogenic so for all of you people that plant with sagos and grow sagos and deal with them and stuff like that don't fool with them seeds unless you've got protective gear on like don't put them on don't touch them with your bare skin sago seeds the skin is a carcinogen in other words it causes cancer so be careful those are going away from here I hate sagos and now look, these, hang on, these things right here, these are pretty. When they bloom once a year, they've already bloomed and it was pretty, right? They were pretty, but look, I just, it, it don't go here. I mean, and, and look, there's another sad sago. It's going. These Indian hawthorns, they're sad. Indian hawthorns need full sun. And then hawthorns don't grow in shady soil or shady shady areas. Well they do, but then they get leggy like this. And then they're they're no fun because they're not full. They're a head they're a hedgerow. So hang on. Hey neighbor. Oaks. Oak trees growing up in here. Wife asked me, can't you just pull those out? I said, sure. I can pull those out. No, I can't. I can't pull them out. So I got to dig them out. What else we got over here? I don't know what kind of plant this is. This one right here. I don't know what this is. It, it does bloom, and when it blooms, it's pretty, but it only blooms once a year. Hey, look. Look at this. Things are going crazy. I gotta get rid of this stuff. Look. See? All of that. Look. That right there, that's a project. That's a camper trailer that somebody dumped next to my brother's house. The Sellers Family Homestead. They dumped it over there. Had four good tires on it. I looked at the frame. I said, I can build another camper out of that. Make it a little hunting camp you know no problem i'm an excellent framer excellent electrician excellent plumber 
Now, interior design, I'm not so good at. But I can make this back into something special. I'm going to extend three feet off the tail end of that thing, too. That way the shower will be bigger. So anyway, bring y'all over here to the back of the truck right quick. And uh, show you what I'm going to be doing. And I'm going to get video of all of this. Erp. This stuff. Right Erp. there. People throw that gold away every year. They just pile it, they bag it up for me, set it right out to the road. It's, it's great. You know why? Because I now have a chipper shredder that my neighbor blessed me with. Sure did. Been wanting one for years. God looked out for me here recently and gave me an awesome blessing. That's my neighbor's dog, Diesel barking in the background he just wants to wants me to go throw him a stick that's my neighbors that uh, hooked me up with the chipper shredder that y'all see in the video here coming up well you know you you've always heard y'all always heard that got that you know God works in mysterious ways well he does and uh, but he also blesses in ways and whenever it's when it when it's his when it's his for you, you're gonna know it because you're gonna feel it. My neighbor showed up, or my neighbor called me and asked me if I wanted a chipper shredder. I said, yes, how much? He said, well, we'll talk about that later. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, well, I'm not gonna look this gift horse in the mouth and I think that everything's gonna work out just the way God wants it to and I will probably be able to afford whatever he's gonna ask for it. And it's a good one, too, because it's an older one. It's a Troy built. And, uh, but it's, it's, it's one of the bigger Troy builts. And it's, uh, I think it's like 15 years old or something like that. Works great. I haven't used it yet, but I, I saw him using it. And I got some, uh, got some chip uh, wood mulch from him from whenever he was using it. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I'm going to get busy. I got a lot of stuff to do today. I want to get this done because tomorrow I'm going to be doing that hydroponics uh, setup and I'm going to be uh, filming that whole thing for you guys so that you'll be able to see it step by step and how I do it and everything. And it should be fun. Ooh, wait a minute. Ace Hardware is not open tomorrow. I'm going to have to run to Ace Hardware real quick before I get started on this because I've got to get some rubber grommets from them for the hydroponics setup that we're going to be doing tomorrow. So, without with that being said, I'm going to jump off of here, y'all. Uh, and well, I'll be back. So, we'll we'll see you here in a minute. Bye. Guess what I went and did? Yep. Sure did. Left my wallet at home. Got all the way to Ace Hardware. Well, at least I didn't get in, like, get into the store before I realized that I got into the parking lot. Almost as bad. I hate it when I do that. But I hate leaving my daggum wallet in my back pocket. Alright. Be back. Looks like we had a defector. A leaf bag. A bag of leaves. Well, what do you expect? It's a bag of leaves. Sometimes they blow out. Here we go. I'm on an incline. <clears throat> right there. Yep. That one decided to defect. It was the lightest one, too. No wonder it blew out. So, here we go. This is my little grocery getter. Honda Element. I love this thing. It's great. It's dependable. Come here, you. Get back in there. To the house get my wallet back to ace get them beds done okay y'all we have hit a conundrum uh, for those of you who speak redneck I'm, well I'm sure conundrum is a universal word anyway if you don't know what that means we're caught between a rock and a hard place turns out Ace doesn't carry those rubber grommets anymore. 
uh, the company that was making them went out of business. Yay me. All is not lost though. I do have my old buckets that are dry rotted and have fallen, they're falling to pieces. And I need to get those cleaned up and thrown away anyway. So, fingers crossed. I'm gonna go back to the house. After I get done dealing with the guard, with the uh, flower bed in the front, and I'm going to check those rubber grommets that are on the buckets and see if they're still good. Hopefully they're not dry rotted. They have been in the shade for the last two years. <laughs> I try to go to Ace and uh, give them my business whenever I can for things that they carry that that I use and. It looks like today is one of those one of those times where it's just not going to work out to where we can do business with one another. So I may have to jump on Amazon if my grommets are dry rotted at the house. It is what it is. So I'll show y'all that whenever we get to it. All right, talk to y'all after a while. All right. So turns out. My youngest daughter, our youngest daughter, has a tripod that I forgot about. The only issue is that I'm having to use two rubber bands to hold my cell phone on her tripod because her tripod is designed for, oh, and I'm wearing a Living Tradition shirt again. <laughs> uh, if y'all don't know who these guys are, which I'm sure that everybody that's watching my videos are well aware of who Living Traditions is. Um, anyway, I, uh, was trying to shoot a video the other day in Georgia. She came up to me. She said, Dad, why are you, why don't you just use my tripod? I said, you got a tripod? Oh, it was also, it was right after, uh, right after I went to Walmart and bought that piece of garbage that I went and returned. And, uh, yeah, anyway, so she said, why don't you just use my tripod? I'm not using it. I said, I forgot you have one. Actually, I think I said I didn't know she had one, but then she said, Dad, you got it for me for Christmas, and then the, then the light went off. I said, oh, yeah, okay. So anyway, let me get to this. Enough talk. Got to get to work. That sun's going down. So Probably going to try and include some music or something here. Dog poop.
So I think I'm gonna try and re relocate these somewhere else. I mean, they're pretty tall and they're still really good and healthy. Some baby ones coming up here. Check out that root pattern. Isn't that cool? It's like a bunch of tentacles going through the dirt. That's wild, ain't it? So whenever I replant them, wherever I replant them, I'm gonna put some uh, mycorrhizal uh, spores in the ground underneath these, some good compost put up underneath them, give them a good start, uh, a good new restart. But I think we'll find a better place for these. I do like them when they bloom, they're very pretty, but I want something that's gonna have pretty stuff on it, you know, the whole summer, not just one time. So set these to the side and keep going. over there so I don't step in it again. My little moose. That dude's a little. He's a pooper. Oh, Diesel. What's up, Diesel? He's hollering at me because I'm not throwing him a stick. Let's see here. Boy, that stuff's hard. be a root from that magnolia tree. That's an oak. Look at that tap root on that thing. Wow. Whew, that's a good one. I wonder it wouldn't come out. Check out that bulb. Pretty cool. Whoops. It's hard work. Looks like somebody's moving in or moving out of the neighborhood. Not, not my, not our little neighborhood. They're just driving by on the main road in a U-Haul truck. But anyway, so this is what I got done so far. That took about maybe 10 minutes. But I am, I'm sweating my butt off, y'all. It's hot out here in South Mississippi. It's probably, I don't know, 72, 74 degrees out here today. It's pretty warm. Get old fat body moving and you warm up real quick. It's all right though. I need to burn off some of this insulation I built up over the winter time. So, <clears throat> flip y'all around. 
show y'all what the other side is supposed to is looks like and well y'all already saw it but round two just thought about something no, well just noticed something about this bed over here I'm assuming that this bed over here behind me is going to be the same way whilst digging in there I haven't seen the first earthworm that has me perplexed and a little bit worried at the same time but I think that I may be able to fix that and get these beds healthy and uh, going on the right track because honestly they've been neglected for a while but uh, putting this leaf mulch in here like I'm gonna be doing and uh, I, I think it, it, if I if I order you know a bunch of earthworms from one of those earthworm guys I tell you what man vermicomposting is cool I, I want to do it and matter of fact I'm gonna I'm gonna be ordering worms for my my raised beds just to put them in there and have them in there which they'll come up anyway but uh, you know if I'm gonna be ordering worms for these front beds I might as well go ahead and order a bunch for my grow beds too you know my raised my raised beds in the back and on the side of the house so I think that uh excuse me for burping on on, on film I think that I'll uh, I'll do that because with this leaf mulch going in these beds up here in the front, there's going to be plenty of stuff for them to eat. And, uh, and it'll be, you know, worms, you just can't go wrong with having worms in your garden or in your, in your flower beds and stuff like that. But honestly, I mean, I've, I dug this whole bed up over here and did not see one single earthworm. And that's very unusual. Uh, so anyway, just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, a little crooked. All right, I guess that's a little bit better. So, got that one done. That one, that one took a little work. There, there was some, them bigger uh, oak trees had bigger, deeper tap roots. The sagos were, man, they were down there. Them suckers, they had to bend two foot down in the ground. wore me out that took about an hour y'all um but it's done <laughs> so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna i'm gonna get cleaned up go take me a shower knock all this crud off of me uh go over to my mama's house i have apparently exceeded my 50 gigabytes of data that i'm allotted through my phone company which I, I'm not uh, I'm not complaining y'all I, I, I've never gone above my data usage ever but then again I've never been on YouTube before and I've never done I've never uploaded videos and whatnot so uh, it I can't really it's already at seven point megabytes per second on an upload from through my uh, phone carrier I have C Spire, and and again, not knocking C Spire. You know, they they have a good product, and uh, <clears throat> we've been with them for a long, long time. I can't even tell you how long. Uh, but anyway, kind of lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, so I'm uh, gonna go inside, get cleaned up. Gonna go over to my mama's house, and she has a uh, land-based internet connection uh, through a local company here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Uh, and get all this stuff put together and i'm hoping that she has a, uh, a a video editing you know like windows media or windows movie maker or something like that i don't even know if they have that anymore hopefully she's got something on her computer if not i'm on you i'll use the app that i have but for some reason it's not uh it's not uploading my edit my edits and stuff like that that I've been putting in uh, on these last two videos I've had material you know I've had 
edit, edited sections and stuff and uh, nothing was cut out uh, just you know I made some uh, verbal uh, inconsistencies like I think I called my hydroponic system an aquaponic system and it's not aquaponics uh, the tanks are but what I'm gonna be doing uh, you know with the with the little buckets and stuff like that that's that's hydroponic that's gonna be hydroponics that's not aquaponics now those big tanks that have the fish in them that's aquaponics and uh, that wasn't what I was referring to whenever I said that uh, I was gonna have the, the aquaponics up on that fence that's actually gonna be the hydroponics uh, stuff that I'm gonna have growing and I, it's looking like I'm not gonna be able to well we'll see I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go out there and check those grommets I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna check them tonight if, if they're good then I'll shoot I'll do that video tomorrow uh, hopefully if I can get finished with this because I still got to get this stuff cleaned up and there was a bunch of those whatever those bulbs are called there was a bunch of those and I think I want to keep a few of them but I want to repot them and I think I want to try and sell them you know and uh, try and uh, make some money back for uh, for the, what the money that I'm gonna have to put into getting this stuff up here uh, right and offset the cost of any of the hydroponic stuff that I have to do to uh, but I probably got I probably got everything for that I need for that anyway all right so I'm gonna go get cleaned up y'all I'm gonna introduce y'all to my mom whenever I get over to her house that's if she'll go on camera hope hopefully she's hopefully she won't be camera shy she never has been so y'all get to meet mama so cool all right talk to y'all in a few just getting ready to go over to mama's house and uh was getting ready to get in my car and i heard a humming sound i was like oh what's that humming sound and i can smell the sweet smell of holly blooms i parked my little honda go-getter under this holly tree and you can see the blooms falling off and you can see the pollen but y'all know what the hum's from that's right Let's see, where's one? Where's one at? Oh, there's one. Get buzzing around up there. Honeybees, what's up? Look, oh, might not be able to get it in the shot. The sun. See that beautiful thing up there? It's kind of hard to see. I don't know if it's going to come into the shot or not. But uh, this holly tree is loaded with blooms and it's also loaded with honeybees that's a great thing that's great look <clears throat> i'm itching to get into uh get into honeybees i've been wanting to do it for years i've been this close every year for the last 10 years ever since i got out of the army First thing I did whenever I whenever I ETS out of the army and uh, went back and went up to uh, my you know the wife my wife was uh, living in Gatlinburg Tennessee. That's where we moved to while I was overseas in Iraq in 05. And whenever we uh, here comes a neighbor. I don't want them to be nosy. Some of them don't even wave, but I don't even think that they're my neighbors. They're just like neighbors, family, or whatever. Anyway, I, I don't like it when people don't wave. I just get tired of dealing with it. But anyway, uh, I've been trying to do honeybees for a long time now. And if I don't do it this year, I I, I don't know. I think I need to do it this year. Like this is this is the year. Like I'm I'm eat up with it. Like I want it so bad. My brother's uh, bees are on the way. They should be here any day now. So, like, I was watching VW Farms, Ben, his swarm traps. Man, those things are awesome. The, you know, the, the, the pots, those uh, um, mulch pots or whatever those things are made out of. You know, those things are awesome. Man, that's just so cool. And uh, <laughs> it's so cheap. It's a cheap way to catch bees. And I know that there's there's some people that keep bees around here and, and hey, you know, I mean if they're their bees swarm and 
I happen to catch some of their bees. Yeah, so be it. <laughs> All right. I'll see y'all at mom's house. Okay, y'all. Just got uh, just got here to mom's, and about to get out. Go say hey. Uh, introduce y'all to or inter yeah, introduce y'all to her and her to y'all. I hope she don't kill me because I didn't tell her we were coming. All right. So here's the stairs. Walking upstairs. Neighbor's house over there. All right, here we go. Hey, Fina. There's Fina. Hey, Mama. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, where are you? Where are you tubing? Say, hey, Willow. Hi. This is my grandniece, Willow. Ah, oh, she's out. <laughs> What you doing? Um, making some potato salad for tomorrow. I need a book. Her B day party. I didn't hear my name mentioned in the potato salad, but I'm gonna be here for the birthday party, so it's all good. <laughs> you need my birthday party. So yes, uh, your birthday party. Mom's potato salad is famous. That stuff is off the chain. It's good. All right, so Mom, you got to look over here. Okay. I'm looking if we look at ourselves, it looks weird. Okay, I'm I know I'm, lear there. I'm learning that myself. I'll look at my orchids. Okay. Isn't she beautiful, y'all? Look at how pretty she is. Look at how pretty her orchids is. She is an orchid growing woman. Like, she can do it. That's only two of them. I have like 12 downstairs. Yeah. We're, I'm going to, we'll, another video, I'm going to come over here. This is really impromptu. She didn't know that we were going to be doing this today. But um, I'm going to bring y'all over here and show y'all what she does in her spare time and all the things that she grows, which she doesn't grow vegetables anymore. She used to a lot, especially when she was younger. We'll, we'll, do, we'll do a whole thing. And, but, uh, oh, and, I really? got you, and I got you a package for you. You got a package for me? Yeah. 